Hello, I'm Mark Manico with Integral Greenhouses. I'm Labor Director here. Um, I've been in the greenhouse industry since 2003 and with Integral Greenhouses since 2009. As Labor Director here at Integral Greenhouses, uh, primary responsibility is seeing that all, all labor activities are carried out in a timely manner, seeing that we can meet all of our production goals, and most of all, making sure that we're able to deliver our customers the best quality tomatoes that we can. One of, the, one of the challenges as being a labor director is making sure that we have adequately staffed operations here, making sure that we have enough people to tend to our, our 750,000 tomato plants, that they can get the proper training, care, and, and love that they, that they need. We have a team of about 140 employees at peak time of year um, that carry out all activities from training the plants to pruning the plants, harvesting tomatoes, packaging the tomatoes, quality control, supervision, team leads. Our labor team consists of uh, local employees, uh, seasonal workers that come from Jamaica, and international exchange students that come here to learn about our growing conditions, our growing techniques, um, and practices uh, that we use in the greenhouse to deliver good quality tomatoes. The impacts of our, our job in society is, uh, you know, first and foremost, we're, we're a food production system, so we're, we're feeding people, delivering good quality tomatoes year-round. Our impact is that we have a sustainable uh, approach to how we produce. Um, we're very responsible in, uh, like, our irrigation techniques. We take reclaimed rainwater off the roof of the greenhouse, that's how we, we provide water to our plants. Um, there's other industry, other parts of our industry that, uh, that support our growing system from, from companies that produce bees and beneficial insects that we bring into the greenhouse. Other parts uh, of business that, that support us is you know, things as simple as people making cardboard. Uh, we, we use cardboard and support that part of the industry. So a typical day here on the farm, um, first things we do is make sure operations are kicked off uh, properly each day, you know, make sure everybody has all the resources and safety uh, equipment that they need to carry out their activities, um, make sure that we're, we're operating in an efficient and effective manner. Um, so just seeing that from our labor plan all those, those activities are going accordingly. Um, then we also check and make sure that the plants have what they need for the day. Make sure that the growing environment is of a proper climate. Make sure that the nutrient recipes are in, in proper order. Um, so we get we do have good uh, good plants to carry out our scheduled operations on. Um, I wound up getting into a career of greenhouse growing. Um, in my earlier days, I wanted to be a pastry chef, but my my. My family, I come from a family of chefs. My mom was a chef, my two brothers were a chef, so I kind of figured I had to choose a different uh, career path, so I decided to get involved in producing, producing the food. Um, I grew up in, uh, in New York City and saw demand for, for food production and being able to feed a, a large amount of people. Um, I started out uh, at my family home. We had small tomato gardens at the church I went to. I was responsible for caring for the tomato gardens there. Um, and I really enjoyed that. At the same moment, I was working at a, a pet store and uh, had a big passion for taking care of uh, aquariums and fish. Um, went to the University of New York at Cobleskill and um, was intended to study fisheries and wildlife. Um, however, it didn't really cater to all my, uh, my desires. I still had a lot of science and business that I wanted to be involved with. Uh, somewhere around 2000, 2001, I was exposed to a large greenhouse like this and my eyes opened up wide and said, this is, this is what I want my, uh, my career path to be. Um, set a, a clear goal and kept working towards to get to where I am today. When I was in middle school or high school, classes that were beneficial to what I do today, I definitely have to say mathematics, uh, sciences, particularly biologies, chemistries. Uh, some soft skills that are required to, to thrive in an environment like this would be strong communication skills, uh, strong work ethic, um, just showing up and being attentive, ob have good observational skills to the environment, and being able to follow you know, simple directions that are set and carry them out properly. When I get out of, 
out of university, I said, you know, geez, I think my communication skills are, are kind of weak and I didn't uh, envision myself being able to speak in front of a, a group of five people, nonetheless a group of, a, of 140 people. And, uh, you know, just kind of keep working at them and developing them and take, you know, tackle that, that fear and get over it and uh, be able to communicate effectively. In such a diverse environment such as Integro, um, being able to speak multiple languages is a very valuable skill. Um, when I was in uh, high school, I studied Spanish. Um, I didn't think I would ever use that skill. Um, one of my, my teachers told me I would not be able to communicate in Spanish, but on a daily basis uh, I'm able to communicate effectively in a, in a different language. So. Being multilingual is a very important skill in the professional workforce today. A starting salary in a greenhouse industry depends uh, just depends on the position. You know, it can be anywhere from an hourly rate of around fifteen dollars an hour to a, a starting rate of forty to fifty thousand dollars a year, depending on the qualifications of the individual, the skill set, and the, the desired position in, in the company. You know, such as a, a grower or manager um, in, in the company. Um, benefits uh, that would come with employment at a company such as Integro would be uh, paid time off, vacation time. Um, you know, the more more time that you put in, the more vacation uh, time that you become eligible for. Uh, health benefits, uh, 401k uh, plans are available. Um, attendance bonuses are available, and also at, at certain moments, production bonuses are available, depending on how well the company does. Qualifications for different uh, levels of employment uh, for crop care work would just be general high school diploma, um, and strong willingness uh, to work and a good, good quality work ethic. Um, sorry, for, for going up towards a grower position, a, a college education would be, would be required, uh, typically a four-year education specialized in, uh, in agriculture. What I enjoy most about my job is each day coming into the greenhouse, seeing all, uh, all of our, our workers here and how they're doing, seeing how uh, the plants have grown and, and the different conditions that the greenhouse is in and making sure that we're, uh, we're doing the best that we can. Um, it's, it's a nice place instead of going and sitting at a desk every day, you get to go into a nice uh, beautiful lush green greenhouse, especially in, uh, in the winter months when it's uh, dark outside, it's bright and lit up in the greenhouse. And, you know, growing plants is, uh, is quite pleasant.